Okay, everybody, welcome to Sketchy Tiny House Building with your host, Jared Tachi. So I'm doing something a little bit different in the tiny house. I am building it very industrial vibe-like. Behind me is a actual ducting. Okay, it's metal. I ordered it from a company that does duct work. And I wanted to make suspend from the ceiling and hold my AC evaporator. You know, I'm wearing the heart hat, as you guys can see. I'm about to actually charge up a heart battery. This video isn't really sponsored by Heart. I am an ambassador for them. I like to give a shout out where shout outs are due. And honestly, Heart has taken really good care of me. I don't want that to go unnoticed. I actually like using the Heart tools or I wouldn't be talking about them right now or I wouldn't have done some of their partnership deals in the past. So let me plug this in here and give you guys some lighting. Ugh. Not always the easiest thing to do one-handed, but there it is. These are the tubes that I have run for my AC evaporator, which I am going with a Cruise and Comfort 48 volt system. Cruise and Comfort is actually known for having a low voltage air conditioning unit, 12, 24, and 48 volt units. I'm putting a 48 volt massive unit in here. There will be a floor mount down here inside of this cabinet. Then there will be the evaporator up high, which we're gonna get into today. And then there's the condenser fan, which is going to be mounted right underneath. Actually, I think it's gonna go right underneath my like step and maybe I'll, I might put it somewhere. Oh, anyways, it's gonna be over there, but underneath. I want to suspend that duct work that you saw at the beginning of this video from the ceiling. Now I have a slant on the ceiling, so that's something that I have to keep in mind. And obviously these tubes are coming out. So my plan is, is to run those tubes through this big old industrial looking pipe. This is a two inch pipe that I ordered from Pipe Decor, which all of my, I guess, accents or shelving or like just everything in the tiny house will be pipe decor. One or two of these screws, depending on how it lines up, are gonna be screwing right into the roof rafter or the roof stud or whatever you wanna call it. And then the other ones are gonna be with these drywall anchor bolts that I got from the hardware store. And I believe they are rated for 205 pounds. So it technically should hold this without any issue. And then I have to run the tubing into this which I will cut and make make good when it's all said and done. This is a 16 inch diameter ducting. I have to fit that evaporator into said ducting. This is again, there it is, cruising comfort right there. This is obviously not a curved piece. So I'm gonna have to build some sort of platform that goes in here. So I've got some plywood behind me that I can do that. I've got a lot of moving parts in here. I gotta make room for a drip tray in here. Uh, and I also need ventilation to come in for an intake. And I need, you know, obviously the blower to blow out. I got, where are you? Where are you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh no, I don't know where it is. Seriously, I don't know where it went. Glacier, did you eat it? Did you eat, did you eat it? These are the vents that I ordered, special order. They are on a 16 inch diameter, cut into the side and they will sit flush with that 16 inches. Now, I've already made some sort of markings with my pencil. So I'm gonna have two vents here and then I'll have two vents on the other side when I line it all up. As you see, I made a center line here. This will eventually be painted black. Vents are gonna be painted white. And bada bing, bada boom, hopefully this all works.
Well, I hope that you guys are enjoying the building process of this ductwork so far. But I just want to take a quick moment here to talk to you guys about something that I realized, but I didn't really like truly, really grasp until I started building. Vibration. Uh, I started making this thing, which is going to be like my little shelf for the air conditioning unit to sit on. I'm going to attach the air conditioning unit to that shelf. However, the ducting is not a functioning duct. It's a aesthetic piece that is surrounding the actual function part. So that air conditioner more than likely is going to vibrate and it's going to create noise. Well, the noise is going to get loud <laughs> inside the duct. While I was building, while I was cutting, you could hear like the echo. So I wanted to sound dampen the inside but I also wanted to also stop any vibrations from happening. So I used just the, the window and door like insulation, little, little stuff that doesn't expand all that much and that's what I wanted. Fingers crossed that it all works in the end. It is a late right now at the shop, I'm about to get out of here. But as you can see, the ducting is pretty much done. I've got one more vent I got to put on, uh, but I wanted to explain everything I got going on in here before uh, I go hang it up or suspend it from the ceiling on the inside. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about weight. My best guesstimate is no more than 30 pounds wire that is rated for i think 200 pounds and i'm going to rivet into the ceiling with a with like a rivet gun and then i'm going to screw that in and we're going to lip loop loop cable around it it'll be kind of like saddling it instead of like going into this and like drilling into this because if i do that and you you know, if I pull on that, there's so much weight in here. I don't want it to warp the ducting. So it'll be better to kind of wrap the ducting than to kind of like put like a hook on here and, and, and do one of those things. You saw that I've put the platform in, I put the air conditioner in. You may see this foil tape in here right now. And the foil tape and the wood is actually a, like a barrier for the air to blow out. The air is going to be blowing out on this side. This side is going to be my back like facing the back of the tiny house. It's not gonna be seen as much, or at least like if somebody was to enter the house, right? This part is going to be removable because I'm going to have where these cords are gonna go is into a drip pan. I'm gonna to have to obviously figure out the condensation, um, how much they do, you know, air conditioning units, they, they have condensation. It's just the nature of the business, everybody. I'm going to have to build a custom drip pan that'll go in here and these two hoses will drip into. I'll show you guys what it looks like all suspended from the ceiling at the end of this video. As I was like suspending the whole unit, um, the time lapse camera, uh, my GoPro just, 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 you know, battery died. It happens, guys. So I do apologize for that happening. But now it's all kind of there, and it's uh, it's, it's looking what I think uh, as a success. I did not know how this was going to turn out. I had no idea. You have a vision up here, and sometimes it works, and sometimes it just doesn't. The, I use that cable. I have three of them. You can probably see them going across the ducting. But I wrapped each cable with a uh, see-through or a clear, you know, vinyl tubing, so uh, it doesn't scratch the paint and it doesn't like vibration. Again, uh, there's no metal on metal there, so hopefully that will work when I do kick this on. I haven't hooked up the rest of the system. I haven't hooked up the compressor down here 
or the condenser fan, so I can't really turn it on. Actually, I don't even have power in my tiny house yet anyways. I still have to clean up just a few more things. I gotta actually snip the cables. You might see this cable hanging down right here. And I will throw up some images of the lighting that I have as my main lighting in my tiny house. However, in those pictures, I don't believe it as at its full in, full risen height that it is right now. So uh, I went back later and I raised it up about 10 more inches from those pictures. But it's pretty much where it's gonna be now. I used obviously a level uh, when I was up there to make sure that it was, they're actually sitting on the windowsill right now. Tubes went in and I you know, had to cut them and I used a really cool uh, pipe crimping tool that I've never used before. I bought it off Amazon. Luckily, Chris, for the owner of Cruise and Comfort, he sent me the link to that. It was on Amazon, I think it was like a hundred bucks. It's a hydraulic um, crimper that's used for that type of tubing. It's like, it's beefy, it's a beefy. I think we should show Glacier before the end of this video because uh, that's only just, that's just the right thing to do. It is your house after all. There's that tail wig. See you.